Okay, so today you'll need a felting mat. This is from uh, Heady Feathers. Uh, you'll need some uh, pink wool. Actually, you can use any colour wool you choose. Um, I'm using a bit left over from a little piggy I felted. Um, I got this wool from, I think it's called Trimmits. And it's, uh, it's quite good quality wool and I like using it. So I'm also using black wool and you will need some pipe cleaners. They can um, be any colour and any sort of style. I'm using these to match my pink jellyfish and some needles. You'll, you don't need them in every colour or type. One will do, so that's fine. And you can use a felting stick and finger guards if you want to. These are from Heady Feathers. You can check out my video of Heady Feathers boxing to see. And if you did get the Heady Feathers box, you can follow along with the um, Earth Pimbrook instructions. It's very, very similar. Anyway, so start by making a ball shape and then using a red needle or any needle you have at home. Um, just start by kind of felting it all together so it can hold. Now I'm moving on to a light blue needle and then I'm just making it a little bit more firmer and easier to shape into a jellyfish kind of shape where it's flat at the bottom. Okay, so just keep on uh, stabbing it and move in an upward direction so we want a flat bottom and now I'm using a dark blue needle to felt the bottom so it's flat and the top of it is like round, a bit like an igloo shape. Um, so that's simply what you do and for the top to be round you just felt um, like I'm doing in the video, it's a bit hard to explain. Okay, so now I'm moving on to the dark blue with the gold colour together so it's a bit quicker to felt um, and become firmer quicker. And I'm just kind of repeating what I've done before to make the shape like a jellyfish. Okay, so now I've finished felting and it's hard and really good to use. So now I'm taking my pipe cleaner and it's 12 um, mine's about 12 inches and then fold it in half and fold it in half again and then we're going to cut the two loops to make four equal parts of the jellyfish tentacles. So this is what you should have. Okay, I've, um, oops, I have some sharper scissors now to cut a hole in the bottom in the bottom of the jellyfish so I can stick the tentacles in from the bottom. Okay, so take your little um, pipe cleaners and twist them at the top so they're connected like I'm doing in the video. Okay, now I'm going make sure it fits like I've done just in the video, but I'm going to use some super glue to stick it in inside the jellyfish. Um, I couldn't film that because it was a bit hard, but once it's set and dry, mine only took five, five seconds. Just curve the bottom of the jellyfish tentacles up so they look a bit more like jellyfish tentacles, I guess. Um, so yeah, that's all you really need to do like I'm doing in the video. So this is what you, you should kind of look like now. And I'm trimming them so they're not as long and kind of shaping them a bit more and pulling them out from the bottom so it's a less longer at the top. Okay, so this is what I have now. Now I'm taking two tiny tiny pieces of black wool and rolling them um, into tiny balls with my fingers and then I'm going to felt them into the jellyfish so that it's eyes like I'm doing in the video. Um, just repeat that exact same process for the other eye and felt it in place. 
Now I rolled a tiny piece of black belt for the mouth. Um, it's kind of like we did with the eye, but I just rolled it horizontally, so it's a line. And then I felted it into place to make a little mouth for the jellyfish. You can do any expression you like. If you're making more than one, you could have like a sad one and a shocked one and a happy one. But I just made one happy one. So this is what your little jellyfish should look like in the end. And you can do any colour you like. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and comment. Subscribe if you'd like to. Thanks for watching.